We look like we're taking a big dump. With Door Shakespeare, I've done complete works, I think, four or five times. Altogether, 1.7 billion performances of complete works. It's that show that just keeps giving. It's also one of my favorite shows to do. It is so much fun to perform that show. So I went back to see if I had any pictures from back in the day, which I think, I think, probably should have done my research. This is February. I know it's def definitely February because it was my birthday. February of 2013. So uh, let's take a look at some pictures. Okay, here is the set for Complete Works. This was at 3rd Avenue Playhouse. Oh, and if you take a look, there is the tap music stand um, right behind it. That signage you probably recognize pretty much every summer that is out. The one that says seating, concessions, box office. And this is Mark. If you have ever seen a performance at any theater in Door County, you've seen Mark on stage. He has performed at every single theater in Door County. This move where Kay closes her eyes, her head's at like this 15 degree angle, her hand is on her heart, that, that you learn in grad school. Hard to see, but at the very top, that's my head poking out. Oh, and there's a close-up. Oh, that wig. So hot under that wig. There's Mark playing Romeo. He was born to play this role. Not many theater companies hire me for my ability to sing. This is one of those cases, and this is where casting directors think twice about hiring me for my musical capabilities. There's a moment in Complete Works where we actually get a chance to rest for about five minutes. There are 12 plays that the playwrights of Complete Works of Shakespeare Bridge condense into one reading. Uh, this is a wooden sword. And this is my best friend, Rosie. So if you look kind of where my left hand is, that's a stuffed animal dinosaur. I bring on the stuffed dinosaur, stuffed animal, sell the audience on this stuffed animal, and then I'd get this brilliant idea to bring something else on stage. And we used to bring our dog, Chewini Rosie, to every single performance. I'd go back to her crate, wake her up, and she'd go, oh, wake up, wag her tail. I'd bring her on stage, and because I'd already brought on a stuffed animal, the audience had no idea that what I was bringing on was a real live dog. <laughs> So she would yawn on stage or try to give me a kiss and the audience would lose it. I used to be a professional long snapper in my day. It was because of my build. <laughs> strong, way strong. Ah. Okay, so this picture right here has a story behind it. Mark loves going to raves. So uh, Kay and I, we took Mark down to this awesome, awesome rave down in Green Bay. You know, the kind that go all the way until like 6 o'clock in the morning. So it's 6.30 in the morning, we get the car, heading back north, stop at that express that's halfway between uh, Green Bay, Sturgeon Bay. Got a bunch of gas, gas station food. Yeah, things did not go well on stage. I love this shot. Two very famous people in the shop. I won't say their names, but one is Owen. That's Owen, young Owen. He's a young professional actor, also an amazing snowmobiler. And next to him is one of the greatest photographers this country has ever seen. Kay doing the classic baseball. Yeah, yeah. Rounding first. Yeah. Rounding second. Yeah. Bringing it home. We would bring audience members on stage. So Complete Works it, uh, is kind of touted as a three-person show. It's actually meant to be five but we couldn't afford all five actors, so we had to make two sock puppets, the king and the queen, for Hamlet. It's just a budget thing. This picture actually was not taken at the theater. Uh, prior to casting Mark, Kay and I invited Mark to Cornerstone Pub in Bellies Harbor. We had lunch, had a few adult beverages, and we said, Mark, we're bringing you here today because we'd like to offer you a role in complete works of William Shakespeare Bridged at Door Shakes, and this is what he looked like. I had the camera right there, and I just it took the picture. Oh, okay, I'm gonna skip this one. This is a PG-13, obviously. 
Okay, bringing in that MFA again. I think we got a couple more of these pictures, but boy, South Carolina really, really brings out the best in actors. This is some, this is some classic, classic training right there. Look at the intention. I mean, it just, it sells it. You don't have to use words. We don't even use words as actors anymore. Got a cowboy hat on, must be the king. Gotta be the king. Big deal. <laughs> the Skull of Yorick, one of the greatest scenes in Hamlet. So the whole second half of Complete Works of Shakespeare Bridge is actually dedicated to Hamlet. So there actually is liquid <laughs> in these mugs, and we do a whole bit about throwing liquid in our face. I wanted to include this picture because this was actually on my birthday. My family came to see the show, that's my mom in the back, and to my mom's right, left side of the image, that's my brother. He is a dairy farmer. This is the last show that he ever saw me perform in because if you know dairy farmers, you know they work all day, every day. <laughs> so this picture, quality, terrible. So this is now the fall of 2013. We went on to do this four more times, four different fully mounted and realized productions of Complete Works with Dorshanks. This is at Ephraim Village Hall. The weather is about to turn. So this is opening night. You can barely see her, but that's Kay. She's turning around to get her picture taken by my awful, awful cell phone. Uh, we're going in for opening night, and just before intermission, a windstorm swept through and absolutely knocked out all the power. Not just here, but all the power in all of Door County, except one little pocket, which I'll get to in a second. So during intermission, we're like, we were, we're, I mean, there are no lights. The emergency lights went on because it's a public place. Obviously not enough light to even basically be able to see anything. It's just to find the exit and to leave to safety. The windstorm had already passed. I mean, it took three seconds for this windstorm to gush through, destroy the power in Door County and pass on by. Stuart and John went out to their trucks, grabbed their mag lights, and with the audience holding the flashlight aspect in their cell phones, we did the entire second act, that Hamlet, all that Hamlet, to flashlights. I remember Stuart and John in the very back with their mag lights, boom, boom, each hand, just shining us. That's a community. That was beautiful. We had no power at our place. No power to turn on the heaters. We had nothing. So what we did was we took our lights, the little flashlights, found our toothbrush and some towels and some soap, and we went to the AC Tap, the only place that had power in all the county, and we took little baths at AC Tap with a beverage. We took this production to Washington Island, an island with an entire community and a beautiful, beautiful theater. I love this picture. This was right before, oh, no, this picture, I was about to say it was right before we started set up. This picture was the last picture we took before somebody turned the lights off. My memory of this, pretty much every single seat was taken. And the only seat I remember not being taken was one that I sat in and I made a comment about, I can't believe all these seats were taken. It was amazing. Washington Island, what a community. And this final picture is my favorite spot in all of Door County. I know that we're not performing this summer and I know that every theater company in America is closed right now and the arts are so valuable. They change people's lives and we're going to do that and we're going to change people's lives and it'll just be in a few months from now. I look forward to seeing everybody next summer. That's a beautiful spot. It's a gorgeous spot in Dorothy. Mm. That's pretty.